Your $1 today will not be worth the same as tomorrow. Inflation is constantly destroying your purchasing power, which is why wealth preservation plays an important role. What if there is a project aimed at creating a currency that's capable of holding its value and stand the test of time? Maha DAO's protocol consists of three different tokens, Maha, ARTH and ARTHX. Maha is the governance and utility token that regulates the ARTH value coin. Maha holders are responsible for stability of fees, protocols direction, and implementation of proposals within the ecosystem. ARTH is the value coin which is designed to tackle the depreciating value of the fiat currency. You may think of it as a better version of a stable coin. But instead of pegging it one to one against the fiat, a percentage of ARTH is pegged to a basket of assets that historically holds its value and hedges against each other. 80% of it goes to a range of fiat, 15% in gold, and the last 5% goes to Bitcoin. ARTH is minted via collateralization of other tokens and is burned when redeeming for its underlying collateral. It is also burned when it falls under the price of its basket of assets, known as the Global Measurement Unit. ARTHX was created with the purpose of stabilizing the ARTH token by absorbing its volatility. It is redeemed and sold in the open market based on the price of ARTH. So why Maha? Because Maha is going to tackle your ass for not liking and subscribing to this tiny channel. I would really appreciate your support, so don't forget to hit those lovely buttons and ring the notification bell. In all seriousness, Maha is tackling the global issue of inflation in an interesting way. Not only does it claim to be the world's first non-depreciating currency, it is also introducing an ecosystem of financial products that could attract many more users. They are building a DeFi platform to provide attractive APYs, interest-free loans, under-collateralized lending, and a gasless wallet with incredible speeds. Its ARTH token will also be compatible across multiple blockchains. If you're on my Discord and Telegram, you should know that I bought in at around 280. That's a market cap of only $6.8 million. Comparing it to a similar token such as MakerDAO with a peak of nearly $6 billion, that's close to a 1000x potential if you ever reach that market cap. During its bull run two months back, Maha was also trading at 670, and at its all time high, we were seeing $25 per Maha at play. To me, this felt like a no-brainer kind of bad. The upsides are way too high as compared to its down. That being said, I've only allocated less than 2% of my portfolio on this as it comes with a fair bit of risks. Currently, there's 2.4 million Maha in circulation. Its circulating supply will reach 50% of the total 10 million in 2024 and after 2031, it will grow with an inflation rate of 2%. Initial investors who bought in between 25 to 75 cents per token will also be cashing out after their vesting period of one year, possibly releasing 800,000 tokens into the open market. In addition, DeFi products aren't the easiest to produce. This space is getting a ton of attention from both the government and hackers, and microcaps are highly volatile. All you need is a small wheel to rock the little boat. So as always, I'm only here to share and inspire you. None of this should be treated as financial advice. Before investing, you should always get off your lazy ass and start doing your own due diligence. Like and subscribe for more interesting crypto gems and daily news.